Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DJSoft videos and DJSoft YouTube channel. Today we're looking at the Native Instruments Tractor X1 Mark III. So it's been a while that we are not used to have new products from Native in the DJ world. There is a lot of things on uh, for complete or for machine etc. But not for the Tractor, Tractor Pro, Tractor Pro 3 and not for the DJ part. So... Um, it, it's been a long time we wait, uh, for example, the um, Z2 Mark II, for example, or Z4 with four channel, but here it is. It's a X1, X1 Mark III. So in this video, I will show you all the parameters you can find on Tractor to, um, to set your uh, X1. We will see also how to use it on Tractor and as a MIDI controller on another device. It's very easy to use uh, to make map mapping, etc. And first, let's see the connections. I let you look at the back. It's pretty cool. I really like the transparent part. I really like transparency. Every you see, if I take my little turntable like this, you have transparency. I I love to to see each component inside a device. So, the back of the unit and the connection, so you have the power, uh, the, the port so for the power supply, the main USB, USB-B for the computer or another device like iPad, etc. We will see after. And your uh, USB hub with three USB-A port. It's pretty cool because you can plug, we will see after, everything you want and it will be connected to your computer or your iPad, for example. Well, first you need to plug your X1. I will not say X1 Mark III every time. It's an X1, the three, the, the third. X1, the third. Um, like you see, I put my little audio for DJ because, well, it, it, it is in Tractor. It's a native product. It's an old, old uh, unit, but... I try to use it as a class component sound card only on my old Mac, not my M2 Mac, but it works and it is working and it's, it's fine, it's very, it's very cool. For this video, I will show you the X1, X1 on internal mix, mixing, not external mixing, because you will see you have two main parts, the FX part and the mixer part, and you can't use the mixer part if you use an external mixer, of course, and it will be disabled. So to enable this, you have to, uh, to see on the parameter, we will see, the um, mixer, internal mixer. So when you plug it, you can choose which deck you want to use. So there is plenty of combinations. So let's see A and B. If you want to use C and D, I think you must buy another unit to have A, B, C, D on two different devices. And you see here you have the let's let's do um, let's say the menu button, and you switch between FX and mixer part. So first, let's see how to use in internal part. You see on audio output, you choose internal, not external, if you want to use the mixer part here. You have plenty settings around the X1. You have every main settings, like if you want that the browse button will be a browse tree or browse favorite. I don't have favorite, favorite doc, so I will uh, choose tree up and down, the beat jump loop, the odd cues, which odd cues you want to, to see, etc, etc, etc. You have the color uh, part too, because every button can have a little color, different color. And you see on the side, you can have also a different color showing you the playing or when you have, when you are at the end of the track, it's really, I think in, in, um, in a dark situation, like a club or whatever, you will see a very quick that you are at the end of the track. It's very, it's a, it's a very viewing function, you know? So everything can be uh, set with the colors on this setting part. And like you see, you have a lot of information. You see, if I'm touching the dry wet, if I'm touching the, um, 
reverb, for example, reverb set, or if I'm touching uh, maybe uh, here, for example, the loop, etc., uh, etc. Et Everything is on the screen, little screen, except the navigation part. But of course, the navigation part, it's it's be way better to see it on the computer. So let's see up to down. You have two different button here and here allow you to switch if you want your FX on the channel one, the, your FX one on the channel one, channel two, or the FX uh, two on channel one and channel two. You can add them to three and four, of course. So let's see one and two for the example. After you have little screen with all information and you have the knob and the um, button to arrange your uh, FX. Of course, if you choose here, you can have one FX with a lot of parameter or different FX with uh, two, uh, two, different, two or three different parameter. So let's see with some music. So let's see the gator here and the reverb here. Everything is can be post fader. So if I move to mixer part and I cut the music, I have my reverb or my echo, etc. So it's cool for that. You can choose it on the parameter in directly in tractor. So everything is fine for the FX part. Let's see after the navigation part. So you can navigate to your track or with a shift button, you can navigate to your playlist. And when you have a track you want, you choose your track and you press play. You have your loop button, allow you to have one 32 to 32 beat loop. So let's push eight, for example, you push and you have eight bit loop. After when you are in loop, you can move the loop on the left, on the right, you see. And you can decrease or increase your loop. After, when you are not in loop mode, the same button will take the value of the loop, for example, 32, and you will jump into your track. Etc. Et Shift button allow you to erase, do something with the button, or do something with the hot cues, etc. Hot cues you have up to four hot cues or eight if you jump in the setting parameter. You can have an hot cue just with the push and erase it with the shift button. After you will have the pitch bend, or you allow you to bend your track to match the phrase between two tracks if you don't like the sync button after you have your Q button you have to push Q and after play reverse it will be a, um, a, a flex reverse because you see you have the, the track still play underneath You have your play, pause, and sync button allow you to match up to uh, two to four track between them with the tempo. You can move the key uh, function too if you push, you know, on the parameter. If you want this knob to be a shift uh, key uh, parameter too. Let's see the mixer part. You can have your free burn EQ, the volume control. And you can have the PFL, the, the Q section, or mute directly. It's very cool to have this on that type of device. Now let's see the other way to use your um, Tractor X1 Mark III 
directly with another device and not directly on Tractor. You can easily switch, uh, plug your X1 Mark III on another device because it's MIDI compatible. So you take off, you uh, output your uh, X1 and you on your computer and you put it on your iPad, for example. On this configuration, I have the X1 directly here on the little USB adapter you can't see here, but here. And the um, USB of the Reloop is directly on the X1, the hub directly um, on the back of the X1. And you see, I will choose my playlist. Oh, let's, yes. You have to be not on the X1 no more mode, but in MIDI mode. You choose the track you want. Maybe uh, this one, for example, you choose it. And it's working. Everything is playing. Play, pause, reverse, cue. It's better without reverse. Hold Q. I put the loop too, so maybe 4-bit loop. And I took to the um, neural mix, but my iPad is the old one, so you will see it's not very good. Uh, let's see with... Sorry for the quality of the music, but iPad very... So, pretty cool utilization of the X1. Not just on Tractor, but you can also use it whatever you want. And at the end, we see the Monsieur Chipot part. So let's see what I'm thinking about the positive and negative things. I do not have too much negative things on the product. I have a little negative things on Tractor. Why? Because on Tractor, when you are a beginner, you don't want to match directly um, with your ears and head, your brain, the track between them, you uh, need to use the sync button. Let's see on those two tracks. I have two tracks here. Let's match with the uh, the grid. Very quick, just to know that, yeah, very, they are more or less matched, okay? But now I want to use the sync button. And it's unmatched. Let's see again. They are quickly matched. Let's push sync button. They are unmatched. I know it's because one or two track has its own grid, not very matched directly on the kick. You know, I can move it, but if I am a beginner, I don't know how to move the grid, etc. So if I want to take um, whatever device from native and I want to plug it on tractor and I want to use it for those track. I have a problem. I test this voice track on Serato and Recordbox. I don't have the problem. And I think Tractor has long t um, since a long time uh, this, uh, this problem to match perfectly the grid, the, the kick, etc. on the track. So it's not a problem if you want to match yourself your track, but it's, it will be a problem if you want to match with the sync button. But with this, uh, with this uh, negative things for, uh, for Tractor aside, this device is very cool. You have all the colors, it's not very flashy, you know, it's, it's cool. Uh, in the dark you will see very easy which track you have or if the track arrives at the end of the, of the, um, of the track, of course. 
you have a lot of colors on the whole button and the feeling with all plastic etc is very fine you know when i took the device from his box its box um, you know when you test when you review something you have a first impression when you take out of the box you know before plug in, to plug etc you have the this first impression and my first impression with the Mark 3 uh, the X1 X1 Mark 3 is that it's pretty good I, I have very good impression very good sensation when when I uh, using knob etc I'm not very fan about using just this thing with a mixer for example or just with your iPad iPad etc I like to use it with uh, turntables etc with the most but but this device is pretty cool so we arrive at the end of this video if you have any question about this product feel free to ask under the video under the comment section under the video in the comment section thank you for watching this one I hope you like it and see you next content bye bye